In this lesson, we will learn how to remove the background of an image. In this document, I have three different images inserted, and I would like to have a nice background that matches in each of these images. I can see that Carol's image has either a white or transparent background, and so does Larry's. And over here, this image does not. I am going to zoom into this image so I can see the quality of the image and the details of it better. The best way for me to do this is by selecting the image and either using the slider to zoom on the lower right corner. You can also hold down control on the keyboard and scroll the mouse up and down to zoom. Either way, zoom into the image. And from the image, when you have it selected, you'll see the format ribbon is active and the first command on the ribbon is called remove background. What I would like to do is keep the image of Alex and Melissa, but I want to remove all of the background. First, I'm going to select the remove background tool. Doing so gives me a new ribbon and it's giving me three commands on how I can refine the image. What I have in the actual image is a little shape, a rectangular shape floating on my image. That is telling me the areas that Word is actively working on to remove the background. Word is going to look for different color pixels between the background and the image and help you remove them. You can mark areas that you want to keep and when you're marking you're selecting pixels of color or you can remove areas. You can also delete marks that you didn't mean to create or marks that did not provide the optimal results that you wanted. Now the first thing I'm going to do is refine the area that I'm working with. I'm going to just resize this rectangle so it fits my entire image. Now anything in pink with the overlay is no longer a part of my image and depending on your image you're going to have different results but what I know is that anything I don't want should be pink anything I do want should be visible I'm going to select mark areas to keep and then I'm going to start clicking or clicking and dragging and I'm going to do this over the areas that I want to keep what I'm doing is selecting color pixels. I'm going to continue to do this until I get all of Melissa and Alex. That did a pretty good job there. And depending on the quality of your image, you will get better results. And depending on the variation of colors on your image, you'll get better results as well. Over here, I'm going to just click a couple times by his hair. Okay, I think I'm okay there. I do want to remove the background that's not overlaid. So I'm going to switch to the mark areas to remove command. And then I usually start by clicking or clicking and dragging once I have a larger area to fill. I'm happy with the results of my image. I can go to the background removal ribbon if I would like to discard all changes, I have the option here. And I can keep the changes by either clicking away from the image or selecting the command on the ribbon. I'll go ahead and select Keep Changes. Looks like I can maybe do some fine tuning here if I wanted to further edit this image. But I'll go ahead and just zoom down. Look at the full size of the image first and it looks pretty good from here. Now what's nice about Word's advanced editing features is, it's, is that it gives you a lot of the graphic editing options that you'll see in other graphic editing tools. For example, we remove the background and you may want to reuse this image again maybe in a PowerPoint presentation or in another document. If you right click an image that you edited in Word you have an option called Save as Picture. I'm going to choose this option here because I want to preserve the image that has no background. 
The only thing to keep in mind is if you are preserving an image with no background, meaning it has a transparent background, you do need to save your file in a PNG file format. Word will give you some additional options such as JPEG and TIFF. But I do want to preserve that transparent background so I keep PNG selected and I'm going to call this image Alex and Melissa no background. Then I will click Save. And just to demonstrate, I'll click somewhere else in my document. And I'll bring that image in. Insert picture. And here's that image I saved. Alex and Melissa, no background. And it comes in exactly the way I saved it. And that concludes our lesson on how to remove the background of an image.